Every day, 2.4 million people ride the subway in New York City, one of the longest running systems in the world and covering 660 miles of tracks. The New York City subway system has become an intricate part of the livelihood of the residents. Although impressive, being an old structure in a booming city has its disadvantages. From inadequate funding, frequent delays, and deteriorating infrastructure to increasing fares and lack of accessibility and inclusivity, the transit system here has a major impact on the commuters. New York City residents have a lot to say about how accessible their transit system really is. For me, the most like inaccessible thing is a lot of the times the escalators aren't really uh, working properly. Uh, although I have noticed that a lot of stations don't have elevators. Sometimes the escalators are either on maintenance or often just not working at all and they just serve as another form of stairs for people. So using the subway in New York as a everyday commuter and worker, um, it's been quite hard sometimes because I, I would have delays and sometimes I would have to like get off the station and walk to work because sometimes seven minutes and then you expect the next train to be like also seven minutes but then you see 15 minutes or maybe 20 minutes and you're like um what the hell so you have like weekend service changes or maybe just one day the train just doesn't want to show up to your station anything can happen you could be waiting upwards to five to ten minutes or you'll have the dreaded the train is at another location and a shuttle will come up or something you never know what's gonna happen you kind of, if anything, you kind of have to plan around it. I don't think the subway system really caters to the elderly or people with who have a lot of stuff to carry, like strollers, because a lot of it's, a lot of um, train stations don't have an elevator, or at least not a working one. Across the world, about seven thousand miles away, there is another metro system built seventy years after the MTA. The Seoul Metropolitan Subway spans over 203 miles, providing service to 7.4 million people daily. This newer system has reconstructed the notion of what subway transit should look like and the resources it can provide. Prioritizing the comfort of their citizens, this system has taken into account the efficiency of the rides, ease of navigation, accessibility, and safety of the people. <laughs> The differences that I've seen between the Seoul Metro system and the New York City system is that there is a bunch more light with the Seoul Metro system. They even have like kind of small mall, you know, like small markets uh, in the subway station. So if you want to buy something, they also provide that kind of thing. Elevator 들어가면 바로 내려갈 수 있게 하는 것도 있고 이제 지하철 카드 찍고 들어갈 때 게이트 문이 확 닫히지 않고 이제 편안하게 들어갈 수 있는 그런 문도 있잖아요. 그거를 이용하면 좀 편할 거. 네, 인삼 구석은 한 칸당 두 개씩 꼭 보장되어 있고 사람들도 거기에는 다안 타려고 하는 편이라서. 편한 것 같고 노인분들 타는 좌석도 보장되어 있어서 타기 편한 것 같아요. 엘리베이터도 있고 해서. So there is much more accessibility with the Seoul Metro. They have more functioning elevators and escalators. They have a lot of um, help on the train stations where you could interact with the maps. Another difference uh, between the subway systems in Seoul and New York is the screen doors. I, they have a screen doors in underground and in overground and like in New York we don't have that you could step onto the tracks if you want to when you want to I think that what the MTA should do in regards to the New York City subway system is that it needs to do a better job in prioritizing its commuters specifically those that live within New York City the Seoul Metro system is a much cleaner and efficient system and while not perfect, it has something a lot to offer to the people that live within Seoul. As for the New York City um, subway system, while it serves all of its, you know, all of the residents within New York, there's a lot to be done. There's a lot to be done within safety. There's a lot to be done within cleanliness. There's a lot to be done with accessibility. And those are things that New York could take away from Seoul. 
Making changes to the old system in New York will not be easy, but to cater to the residents and satisfy their needs in the long run, the MTA should implement more effective services, such as the ones found in the Seoul Metro system. In New York, concrete jungle where things are made of, there's nothing you can do. Oh, yeah. In New York. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff.